Hey there, this is John with Mother Earth News and you're looking at a bag of wood chips and would you believe that you can run a vehicle on wood chips? No, it's not a crazy idea, it's, it's reality. It happened a lot in World War II and Mother Earth News has been writing about it since the 1970s. And today I'm here in southeastern Kansas with Mr. Woodgas, Wayne Keith. Howdy Wayne. How to do sir. And he's got a pretty revolutionary setup going on here in his wood gas truck. This is one of several trucks he has. But Wayne, let's hop up here and tell us the basics of how this works. Okay, uh, gasification. It's a process when you burn biomass in an oxygen restricted environment. The byproduct is carbon dioxide and water vapor. Now if you can bring those products up to somewhere between two and three thousand degrees you'll get a chemical change which will transfer them into hydrogen, carbon monoxide, and methane. And these gases can be substituted for uh, gasoline. Uh, it is common knowledge <coughs> that uh, diesel and gas burners runs off gasoline and diesel, but they run off the vapors of those fuels. Now what we're doing here is taking wood and vaporizing it and feeding it to motor and uh, it equals out to 16 pounds of wood will equal a gallon of gasoline as far as the, the power. So this uh, apparatus is a gasifier. It pulls, uh, we put wood in here and it's sealed. There's no smoke ever seen from the vehicle. Nobody even realized we run the vehicle off of it. Uh, I will open it just enough to show you that uh, we do have uh, wood in here. You can see smoke and you can see the, the wood there. It smells like we're going to barbecue. <laughs> Alright, it smells good. So this is the, what's the, this is the gasifier this here? This is the gasifier. Okay. And what's the middle guy? It goes from the gasifier over to a filter and heat exchanger. Then it goes up into what I call a radiator system. It goes around, it looks like side boards on the truck, goes around through the truck. It goes underneath the truck to a settlement area. By the time it has gotten to that point, the gas has reached its dew point, and you start losing uh, water out of it, and that truck can uh, trap the condensation under the truck. It goes from there back to a uh, filter. I've tried several different type filters, and the best I have found is uh, hay. Uh, the hay works fine. Uh, if hay is out on the ground, it'll be rot and disappear within a, a week or so. In this container, it lasts uh, indefinitely. I hardly ever have to change the hay. I will wash it out every once in a while, and it works good. And from this on to the motor, and believe it or, or not, it is, uh, these sawmill slabs will run this vehicle uh, well over speed limits. Let me put it that way, well over speed limits. Uh, I can attest to that. 